Hey everyone, so <sighs> let me see, what is this video going to be about? Well, it is going to be about the girls. Um, I decided to <clears throat> make a video about my dolls and my collection. And it seems like there is a pretty big uproar. Actually, I wouldn't even say that big. Because the majority of you guys are enjoying the twins. But then there are some of those who just can't keep their mouth shut. And you want to comment. <clears throat> now... There is something that I was taught when growing up, and I think this is a bit of the problem with a lot of people in society, is that <clears throat> you don't really care, some people don't really care what they say. They just want to put their opinion out there because they just want to be heard. Because probably in your life, <sighs> You're always right, so you're going to comment to, because you just have to, because it's your, you know, you're always, you got to be in that business. So, I was always taught that if you don't have something nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Just because people post videos on YouTube doesn't mean you need to comment. Because if I commented, does it, just because you don't like it doesn't mean you need to comment is what I'm saying. It is best. Um, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. Because what are, what, what are you getting by saying something mean, hateful? Are you getting ahead in life? Or is it making you feel good? Or are you kind of, in a sense, being a bully? What's going on? Because definitely I teach uh, my daughter that if she has nothing nice to say, she better not say anything. Um, I better not ever catch her saying or leaving comments anywhere that are rude. But it seems people just can't follow that slogan. And however, if people actually just followed that, we would have a much better world. And that's a sad thing. If you just wouldn't say mean, hateful comments, we would have a great place. You know, um... People wouldn't be afraid to be themselves because of your rude and negative comments. A lot of the time people take offense to these and they hold back and they won't be themselves because they're too afraid of what someone else is going to say. Well, here's the deal. I'm not afraid of what someone else is going to say, but I am going to say that I see your nasty little comments and I'm not going <laughs> to... I don't care. You don't need to comment, first off. Now, I have decided to go a different route with my collection. Along with having regular Reborns and one-of-a-kind dolls, I have decided to have Reborns who have genetic disorders. And there is nothing wrong with that. What there is something wrong with is having... People comment and say that there is something wrong with that. And saying, oh, how would those parents feel? Oh, how would blah, blah, blah. Well, here we go. First off, you don't know how those parents would feel. Second off, everybody is going to have a different opinion. One parent may like it, one may not. Who knows? You have no idea. What I am doing is expanding my collection to show that, hey, just because you're not born genetically perfect doesn't mean you're not perfect. You're perfect in your own ways. And that's what I'm trying to show with my collection. I want people who have children who have Down syndrome, who have, uh, you know, cleft palate, who have cleft lips, who have dwarfism, who have, uh, al that are albino babies, who could be conjoined twins, um, who are some people are born with arms that are like very small arms and 
you know, with their bodies normal, all different walks of life. I am showing on my channel that no matter what, you are accepted in this community and I want you to feel accepted. So by having these babies that have different genetic disorders opens the door to those people who could have a child with Down syndrome or any of these, any genetic disorder. And if they see my videos, like say they're interested in the reborns, but all they see is these gen genetically perfect children, oh, where do they fit in? And you know, they could be like, wow, I would like to have a reborn, but I don't see any reborns that have dwarfism and I, and I want one of my child, but you know, what if I make a reborn that's a dwarf? Am I going to be made fun of? But you know, they're really dealing with that in their life. You know, I am adding these dolls to my collection to show that no matter what, you are part of this community. So I am having reborns and one of a kind dolls with genetic disorders to show that this community isn't only here to support reborns who are genetically perfect because that is just a horrible thing to say or show. So I am opening the doors to other people and, and everyone to show that this is just not for perfect people. If you have down syndrome, there's kids that are, you know, are, that are down syndrome. If you're conjoined twin, but you could be separate, you know, um, like those, those girls that are living that are, have two heads and one body, but two separate heads, you know, you could get a doll made to look like you, you know, because a lot of people as a kid, you know, you want a baby that looks like you, even if you are the say normal or you have a genetic disorder, you want a doll that looks like you. So, you know, I'm just doing this to show that everybody is welcome. I'm not doing this to mock anything. Now, people say, oh, you're crossing the line. You're taking it too far. I'm not taking it too far. Now, taking it too far would have a reborn here all bruised up and say, oh, it's a victim of child abuse. That would be taking it too far. I'm not taking it too far. There are kits that are made with Down syndrome. This girl is wanting to break out into the industry making uh, conjoined twin twin kits and all different other types of genetic disorder um, kits. Like she's even done a baby that was born and had to have a heart surgery because it had a heart defect and the chest is so, it looks sewn up in the clay and stuff like that. You know, she's doing, she wants, she wants people who have genetic disorders to feel accepted in the doll world. And this, you know, she's not the only sculptor that does, creations like this there's other people that make all sorts of different types of creations i mean for crying out loud we're co some of us are collectors of zombies and vampires you do realize that those are dead right a zombie's dead a vampire is dead so if this is disturbing to you guys then collecting vampires and zombies should be just as disturbing because those are dead babies but no we think they're cute you know we have fun with it Yes, this is totally new to the realm of collecting and reborns and all that stuff. But there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, American Horror Story. People, American Horror Story has um, conjoined twins. People do writings on conjoined twins. I mean, it's just, it's normal. I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Some babies are born, born this way. Yes, they don't necessarily live long but that doesn't mean it is wrong for me to make a sculpt of conjoined twins because I want to show just how beautiful they are as a child who doesn't have any ge genetic disorders and that's all I'm trying to show is that there is nothing wrong with being different and just because some of you guys are up in arms over this doesn't mean I'm gonna stop with the videos doesn't mean I'm not gonna share them doesn't mean I'm not encouraging other people to get babies this way because let me tell you what for the few haters I have I have hundreds more who enjoy these babies who are interested in getting babies with genetic disorders created you know I have spoken with people since these dolls came out that they're you know they've told me about other diseases that 
or disorders, you know, that they want to get a baby made, um, <clears throat> that way. And I'm even looking into other ones that I want to get sculpted later in the future. So it's opening up a new realm in the reborn community. You know, it's another part of the collection. I think it's really shallow and small minded of people to think that this is wrong and to think that we should only share normal children because that is what's hurtful. That is what is a slap in the face of people who in their family have people who have family members or friends with genetic disorders. <clears throat> that is what is hurtful. What's not hurtful is me sharing my three babies that have uh, genetic disorders. I have the conjoined twins. I have a Down syndrome baby, and I have a baby who has al who is albino. <coughs> Excuse me. And there is nothing wrong with that. And for those of you who say there's something wrong with that, shame on you. You have no place to say anything. It's rude. It's downright rude. And if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Because, I mean, I see your comments and I think, wow, how shallow are you? I mean, seriously, you're telling me this isn't okay. So what you're telling me is okay is only sharing babies that have, that are perfect. You know, well, you know what? These babies are perfect. There is nothing wrong with my conjoined twins. There's nothing wrong with my Down syndrome baby. And there's nothing wrong with my albino baby. These girls right here are the most beautiful doll in my collection right now. I think they're amazing. They're phenomenal. This sculptor nailed it when she created these dolls. And I hope that people who stumble across across the reborn community and they and their family have people who have genetic disorders. I hope that they see my channel and they're like, wow, she's not only sharing reborns that are perfect, but she's sharing all these other awesome reborns because they're perfect in their own way. And that's what I want. I don't want my channel to be, oh, you can only, I only share this because I'm too scared to share that because of what somebody else might say. Well, you Say all you want to say. It's a big argument for a few people. <coughs> and I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't care. You can leave your hateful comments, but you know what's going to happen is eventually I'm just starting to block you guys from my channel because I'm not going to tolerate you guys bashing what I'm doing. And it's, you know... There's nothing wrong with this. They're super cute. The art is amazing. It's it's art. They she's captured you know a birth defect. She's captured something that can go wrong in the human body and it's beautiful. And <clears throat> I really hope and I know I will in the future see more babies who are beautiful like them and are perfect in their own way. And I really hope that you guys just sit back there and think before you leave a comment if it's not a nice one. And remember what your parents taught you. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all.